Hey guys, I'm Tim from Algonaut, and today I'm going to run you through what's new with Atlas version 1.3. In Atlas 1.3, we have added the features that complete our vision for creating dynamic maps from sample packs. The big one is that you can now add folders and reanalyze existing maps. There are some new map management tools, and we have also thrown in a few popular feature requests that were asked for from users. So let's start at the beginning of the map making process in Atlas. If you go to the map screen, you can see now over the icons that there's a little edit button. This means I have two choices. I can either click on a map and it will load straight away like this. Or if I go back to the map screen, I can click the edit button and make some changes. So the first thing you'll see that's different in this screen is there's now a reanalyze button, which is great. So any changes we make, we can now update the map. Atlas will now detect if there are new sample files placed in your folders on your hard drive. So I've already done this and you can see there's a message here saying new sample files detected. So I know that I now should probably reanalyze. I can also add new folders. So you can do that in two ways. You can either add it with a button. So if I go add, or add in this folder, or I can drag them in from my finder. So now you get a little message saying changes to the folder list will be lost if not analyzed. This means if you don't reanalyze right now, the folder structure will go back to what it was. But let's do a reanalyze. You get a little dialog box now saying yes or no. And off it goes. The important thing here that we've actually done is that this only analyzes new samples, not the existing ones. So that saves you a lot of time. I'll add here as well that we have tweaked the AI a bit so that does an even better job of finding samples, particularly long samples like symbols and ones with added silence. These will now make it into the map and the map will do an even better job of grouping them together. Okay, so once your map is loaded, you'll notice we've added some new icons in the top right. These are for our like dislike feature. If you turn on the show like dislike view, what you'll see is a heat map of all your favorite samples. So as I like a particular sample, it will go green. And if I dislike a sample, it'll go red. And the ones around them also change color, but to a lesser degree. So the more I do this, the more detailed my like dislike heat map becomes. And this is what Atlas uses to figure out the kinds of samples that you like. So once this is all full up with information, when you use new kit, Atlas will prioritize the samples that are green or the ones that you've liked over the ones that are red, or the ones that you've disliked. And that's basically how the like dislike feature works. If you wanted to clear this, there's an icon here that you can click and this will erase your like dislike settings just for this map. And now we're back to the start. We've also added an icon so you can delete a sample from the map. So say I don't like the sample, I can just hit the delete button. And I've got two options. I can either remove it from the map or delete it from disk. In this case, I'm just going to remove it from the map. And it's gone. We have also added more MIDI note shortcut functions that our drum controller users have been asking for. If you go to the settings screen, there's a section here called MIDI map functions. And what this is all about is this means you can map certain functions in the Atlas UI to MIDI notes. So if you're using a drum controller, you can basically control Atlas without even touching your laptop. So this is things like new kit, clear all, undo, redo, and the new ones are randomize a single drum slot and lock a single drum slot. So what I've done here is I've mapped these up to certain MIDI notes. So B6 for new kit and A6 for randomized drum slot and so on. Okay, so I have my drum controller here next to me which happens to be a launch pad. And I've set up these scene buttons on the right of the launch pad to control certain functions in the Atlas UI. So for example, this bottom scene button sends out the MIDI note B6, and this is mapped to new kit. So as I press it, it's gonna change out all the samples. I've currently got the kick drum on the bottom left slot selected. So if I hold the next one up and click that, it's gonna lock that kick drum in place. So as I randomize the rest, that kick drum stays the same. I'll unlock it. And if I use the next one, it will randomize just that slot. And there you go. Heaps of fun. You can, of course, use your MIDI keyboard or the piano roll in your door as well. We have more updates coming with some really big features in the pipeline. So keep an eye out for our emails if you sign up to our mailing list. Thanks for watching.